Mr. Speaker, uh, honourable colleagues, my question is for the government leader. Uh, Senator Gold, it's been now a number of months that your government has been announcing the uh, securing of millions and millions and millions of vaccines on behalf of Canadians. Actually, it's been so many, so many millions we've lost track, but yet Canada still significantly lags behind all G7 countries and many other nations, actually, and the list happens to be too long to enumerate. Given the various uh, delivery dates and changes in timeline, including yet another one today, which the Prime Minister announced, which sounds good in theory, but of course we've seen this government over a number of months now continue to make announcements with benchmark benchmarks and timelines that seem to be used more for political expediency and a public relations show than concrete action. So my question is the following. Can you please provide a definitive target, a clear and a transparent date, government leader, uh, of when will Canadians expect to be fully vaccinated? It's a very simple question. It is, by what date can this government provide to Canadians and expect for Canadians to be fully vaccinated? Simple question. What date? Senator Gold. <laughs> Well, indeed, it is a simple question, honourable colleague, uh, but there is no simple answer. There's no simple answer, indeed, and, and that is largely because uh, the Canada has multiple sources of vaccines, relying upon multiple supply chains, and it would be irresponsible, however, however, however um, attractive it might be, uh, to pose the question, uh, the fact is the government remains uh, committed uh, to providing accurate and evidence-based information to Canadians about this. The, the government of Canada is not yet in a position to give a definitive date. The Prime Minister uh, has indicated some months ago uh, that all Canadians who want it should be able to get their first vaccine uh, by uh, September of this year. It is clear from uh, since that statement, it, uh, if I may continue, it is also clear that since that date, uh, the uh, number of, uh, of the, the, the vaccines that have come into Canada are clearly ahead of schedule. Canada, will, uh, the government of Canada will con continue to work as it is uh, round the clock to ensure uh, that Canadians get access to the vaccines that it needs. And when it is in a government is in a position to revise the target, when it is based upon clear evidence and not political uh, opportunism, uh, it will make that announcement. Senator Housakis. Government leader, if this is ahead of schedule, Boy, oh boy, Canadians would really love to see what it would be, you know, what, what the actual targets are, because every Canadian across the country is asking a very simple question. By what date will we be fully vaccinated? But I have a two-part supplementary question. The first thing is I find it a little bit concerning on your response to one of my colleagues about the fact that the government leader in the Senate found out about a government announcement today where the Prime Minister and Pfizer announced that they're changing the date, announcing today that they're speeding up again the date of expected delivery of vaccines in this country. And I find it disturbing that the government leader in the Senate finds out about it in the newspapers. I think there's a customary tradition in this place that a government leader who's a member of Privy Council is providing information on behalf of the government here and not information they read from a newspaper article. Having said that, and, what we, and, and that government leader, I don't even know if he requires an answer, but it's concerning as a parliamentarian. And what we also see is that your government's monumental failure has had and will continue to have a devastating impact on the health of Canadians, the mental well-being of Canadians, and of course our economy. Why has your government chosen government speaker to rely on subsidies and lockdowns rather than to expedite vaccines and give concrete dates of when Canadians can expect to turn the corner? Senator Gold. <clears throat> I'm sorry to disappoint you, but my answer is going to be very clear. The Canada, a government of Canada is successfully uh, provided uh, and is success, successfully providing a diversity of vaccines to ensure that Canadians are vaccinated uh, and have access to the vaccine as quickly as possible. And the, the government of Canada is not responsible for lockdowns, that's the provinces. And those pr decisions are being taken, those decisions are being taken uh, in the best interest of the health of their citizens. And I understand, I understand 
uh, the function of question period, and I, and I stand always prepared to do my best to answer your questions. The fact is, the Can government of Canada and all provincial governments and territorial governments are working seriously in the context of a terribly challenging and dynamic and ever-changing global pandemic to ensure the safety and health of Canadians. And Canadians should have confidence in their governments that they're doing the very best that they can do under these very difficult circumstances.